to crash. <laughs> Ooh, stupid waterfall! Why are you there? Oh, hello. Welcome to the twentieth subscriber special. Today we will be looking at the special rooms and the parkours and mini games that have been created for it. Um, as some Minecraft have di been discontinued for my friends, they haven't been able to join us. So hopefully they'll be able to join us for the next big special. So let's get to it. Waterfall. So this is the entrance to the secret room. You wouldn't even be able to tell from the waterfall unless you're really good at seeing a one block hole. And this is where one of the first mini games will be held. It will be called Find the Diamonds. There is five diamond ores to find. And the first one to find as many as possible wins two pieces of gold, which you'll see why the two pieces of gold are relevant later on. So this is also a good way of disguising the room because no one actually knows where it is. Because it's, this is just a man-made cave. But if you go through here, and down here, there's a little bit more for a cave. But then you go up here, and then voila, you're in the secret room. So through this door, the only door in the main room, we have the eating quarters. Ow, fire, dangerous. So there is enough space for seven people. Is that good maths? Yeah, that's good maths. And through here and up there is essentially the same thing. It's just the corridor round to some stairs up here and into this brightly lit room. So if someone presses this button you get teleported into this container under here and then you can take everything out of the infamous barrel that's in there. So you put on your armour and your shield and as you can see I'm on the netherite team and you guys are on the diamond team. So if my lovely cameraman looks inside of his barrel you can see there is the diamond kit. You have a netherite sword and I have a diamond sword, just so it's a bit fairer because netherite's obviously better than diamond with fire resistance. And then you go up the ladder into the arena and then you fight to the death. It's such a great game because when someone dies everyone gets teleported back up here and it's almost like the last one standing. So that's this first mini game. So the only way to get back up is if you die. So this is the main com communal area where we'll be having a big party and everything. Ooh, I need to go to the toilet quickly. Hey there. As you can see, I am now in Java edition and will be showing you the outside party games, which the only way you can access it is if you go out the entrance. So let's go. So, 
as you can see, we won't be able to go back through this way. Unless we have a trapdoor, but the trapdoor won't look great in this sort of setting. So this little pool is actually three blocks deep. And if you swim through into the water fountain, I crashed into. That's great. Thank you for being there, water fountain. You were a great help. So anyway, we'd have to climb the mountain or take the boat. Should we take the boat? Yeah, let's take the boat. Right, let's turn the boat around. Okay, so I'm in the boat. Are you going to get in the boat? There we go. Right. So we're just sailing down the river. This is really hard to control, by the way. And parts of the river get really tight. Ah, uh, no, that's, a, that's the riverbed. Let's try not to crash the boom. This is two of the things that we're doing. So if we pull up here, let's just go like that. There we go. Well done. This is Kiosk Cledwin Shack. <laughs> so this sign is saying two things that you can get to help you with some of the tasks. A diamond axe or a shield. They're both worth 10 gold each. That's why you get gold. So there is going to be find the diamond again, the free for all game. Then over here is going to be the parkour, which you get four gold from. And then over in the distance over there is the another free for all because we just love watching our friends fight to the death. is that a really, really powerful bow is going to get dropped into the middle. So this bow is Unbreaking 1, Infinity 1, and Power 1. It's going to get dropped into the middle, and then everyone's going to be fighting to get the bow. Everyone else will get swords or have the axe from the shack, and then a couple of stacks of arrows will be dropped around the map at random points. So the bow might even be dropped after the arrow. So if someone wanted to get the bow, they might have picked up all stacks of the arrows and then find out that they only need one arrow. So that's this game. There's also one other game that I want to show you, which I think everyone will know what it is which is hide and seek. And the one rule for hide and seek is that it has to be outside and it's got to be on the mountain. So it could be anywhere on the mountain. So I'm going to show you some good hiding spots that I found. Let's go over there. So right now we're going to be playing a little game of hide and seek. So I'm going to go hide and you as the viewers are going to come and find me. And comment down below if you see me. So, let's go do it! Hiding in plain sight. 